Tell me, man, how do you feel like your game translates to the NBA? Uh, I think it translates well. Uh, I think uh, um, I'm a natural, natural NBA player. You know what I mean? Uh, the game comes natural to me. Just think that I just have a natural feel for it. Are there any misconceptions about your game? Like you feel like you're needing to clear up throughout this process? Mm, no, not at all. I mean, a lot of people think I'm a four. I mean, if that's the, that's that's what's going to make me succeed at the next level. Then I'm going to have to play the four. But I mean, I just have a natural feel for the game at the three. Uh, uh, I just. I know I can handle it, I can put it on the floor, and it was just some questions about me being able to guard for it. You know? if, that, if that was a major question, I feel like I'm in good shape because, I mean, I, I never really had a chance to, to, to learn how to guard the three. And, and during this process, I'm going to have that chance of getting quicker and being able to guard threes more. And so that it sounds like that's definitely what you're hoping to play at the next level is to be out on the perimeter? Yeah, but, I mean, if, if, if a team needs me to be down low, that, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm not going to just say I'm, I'm a three and that's it. You know what I mean? I, I played college basketball at the four and I, and I was successful. So, I mean, if that's the position I need to be at, then I will definitely take over at playing the four. How is it going through this process, not only with your brother, but with Josh Selby as well? And what do you think about their <clears throat> their uh, potential in the draft? Uh, I think that they're doing well. I actually got a chance to watch Josh. and I stayed and watched Keith, and I think Keith really stood out amongst the four men. And uh, just, just being out there for them guys, make sure they're comfortable, you know what I mean, while I'm here and have a chance to because uh, uh, they, they mean a lot to me that they, they're successful because they, uh, I really care about both of them. There's a lot being said about you, you, uh, you and your brother's desire to play together. W would you say is that is it accurate being portrayed that you guys are really hoping to be together or are you comfortable I mean, going different directions? We're comfortable going different directions. I mean, we want to play together at the end of the day, but I mean, we're, we're very comfortable if uh, he's going his way and I go my way. I mean, it, it has to happen. I mean, we're, we're young men and we're, and we're growing, so I mean, it has to happen once. If you could credit anybody for helping you get to this point, outside of your brother, of course, who, who would you say are some of the people that have helped you get here? Uh, Dan Brinkley, growing up. You know what I mean, he was a mentor to me. Uh, Danny Manny, uh, he, he really helped me out a lot at Kansas, and uh, he really made me successful playing the floor, and, and he just helped me with everything. Do you like being compared to your brother, or do you feel like you, know, you want to be two different players? Or? I want to be two different players. Uh, we're, we're not the same player by any means, you know what I mean? And, uh, at Kansas, it kind of looks that way because our four and five are interchangeable, you know what I mean? And, it definitely looks that way, but uh, uh, we're, we're going to do our, our drills, our individual drills separately, so we can, I mean, I mean, uh, our NBA workouts separately, so people can talk about him and they can talk about me and not always compare.